Hello, welcome to a Rear Force tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use HitFilm Express to import, edit, and render uh, stop motion animation. So first off, in HitFilm Express, we're going to make a new project here. And here you'll notice uh, your project settings. For stop motion animation, you're going to want to change your frame rate. I shoot stop motion in 12 frames per second. Uh, and if you don't want to render in 1920 by 1080, which is the standard video rendering for most normal modern video, uh, you can click this little uh, link here and you can change it to anything you want. So like 640 by 480, that's small. I'm going to change it to 1920 by 820 because that's like a more cinematic aspect ratio. Click OK. So first thing we're going to do is click import image sequence. We're going to browse to the folder. I use dragon frame to animate with. So my folder structure is uh, the dragon frame folder plus the take plus uh, the, these folders. My files are in this X1 folder here. I'm going to just hover over it and click select folder and it will import. Now earlier it was not importing for some reason. So I renamed the folder from X1 and just did final. So that did help, but apparently it imports. So if you have troubles, just rename the folder because I think what it was doing is that it was not recognizing that this was not the beginning of a sequence. Anyway, so then we drag it onto the timeline. Uh, it'll ask if we want to match. I'm going to click no because we've already set up our video settings in the beginning. Here's the frame. It's cropped too far in. So I'm going to drag a corner, hold shift and pull down. So that way it fits the frame better. And I'm going to find the ending here because I don't want this next shot. So I'm going to, there we go, find that. I'm going to press C for the cut tool, click on it, then press V to go back to the normal tool or there on the sidebar over here. Click it and delete. The whole, my clip is only two seconds long. So I'm ready to export. To get custom exporting settings, we're gonna go to window, export. This will pull up the export window. The default is the YouTube 1080p HD preset, and it'll render in that. What we're going to do instead is go to the presets tab, click new preset, MPEG-4, because that's what we wanna, that's what I want to render in personally. I'm going to title it widescreen brick film. And then where it says dimensions, it says from source. I've already set up my project to be 1920 by 820, so that's perfect. If you wanted to render different than you set up the project, you can change it here, but I don't recommend that keep aspect ratio, frame rate from source, all this means that what we set up in the beginning is going to render perfectly, just like this. Click OK. Now you have this user preset, widescreen brick films, 12 frames per second. We're going to go back to Q. You can change the default preset, just click brick film there. Then we're going to go down here to the bottom where it says export. I'm in the folder where I want it to be exported. I'm going to title it brick film. Save and it's already rendering. Because I set default preset to widescreen brick film 12 frames per second, it used that preset when rendering. So that's how you do that. And there you go, it's finished. I can open the folder. There's the brick film. And over here, you'll notice it's a two second clip of 1920 by 820 because that's how I set it up in the beginning. And it's 12 frames per second. And there you go. Now your brick film is rendered. And that's how you use HitFilm Express to import images edit and render in basic terms a uh, stop motion so i hope you enjoyed please consider liking i might do more of these in the future maybe